Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to get acquainted with the Fortescue theorem. You'll be able to understand how it actually works with the help of the interactive page you are now seeing. The theorem in question is widely used in the analysis of unsymmetrical modes of electric systems. It tells us that any three-phase unsymmetrical system can be resolved into three symmetrical ones. For example, here we've got a system of three phases, VA, VB and VC. You can clearly see that it's unsymmetrical. According to the Fortescue theorem, we can resolve this one into three symmetrical systems. Let's discuss each of them in more detail. This one is the positive sequence system. Here it is. The sequence of the phases here is ABC. That's where the name comes from. This one is the negative sequence system. Here the sequence is ACB, which again finds its reflection in the name. And uh, finally, the zero sequence system is a system of three co-directional phases. Merging these systems, we'll come back to the initial three-phase unsymmetrical system. Have a look at A1 phaser. There it is. And here is the A2 phaser. When translated in parallel, it gives us this phaser. And the A0 gives us this one here. Thus, any three-phase unsymmetrical system can always be resolved into three symmetrical ones. Whatever the system may be, and however randomly we might generate it, this correlation is going to stay the same. For more precise positioning, you can use the entry fields. They are located on the left. So, we can adjust any diagram known in advance or use the markers. Have a look. There they are. Mm -hmm. The calculation works both ways. You can change the phases and get symmetrical components and also the other way around. You can alter the symmetrical components and get the phases corresponding to them. As mentioned previously, this method has found its application in the analysis of unsymmetrical operation modes uh, like short circuits or interruptions. The most popular phase of variance can be simulated using radio buttons. Let's say we want to have a look at what voltage looks like in case of a double phase short circuit. Or we could also have a look at currents under the same condition. With these radio buttons you can reproduce the most popular modes mentioned in the relay protection classical literature, if I may put it this way. Now, this field value is the scaling factor, and using it, you can shift from per unit values to volts or amperes. Just follow the link below and see for yourselves that the theorem actually works and that the results obtained using the method of symmetrical components can be used in daily work. Bye bye!